Um, a little late on the twin or on Gemini. Uh, my daughter's birthday is Gemini also. So let's just do a reading for Gemini. Whether we're late or we're not, it still fits in this time. Holy Spirit, Archangels from above. What should Gemini do? Tell me about Gemini. Let's check them out. <clears throat> card, this card. This card and this card. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords, Son of Pentacles, the Hangman, and Strength in Reverse. This is for Gemini. And yes, a lot of times I do look in the book, so and then I put all the all the information from the universe. Together. Ten of Swords. Bear with me, Geminis. We love you. We at times you don't believe so. You finally have hit rock bottom. You've you've also allowed others to walk all over you too much. That's for Gemini. That's let me see your hang on, Gemini. This doesn't have to be just relationships it could be from work friendships boyfriends lovers girlfriends had enough of being walked all over clarify okay son of pentacles see okay in your relationship is um can be trusted wholeheartedly that's both of you if you're in a twin flame relationship with gemini's um or in a relationship, this particular relationship carries the energy of protection and love because you've both been hurt really bad uh, in relationships and being walked all over. The, let's see why the hangman is here, bear with me. Hangman. As many people talk about the art of letting go, but what does it really mean and how do you achieve it? The hangman has all the answers. He's a master of non-attachment. There's a, this card implies, implies there's a sacrifice or difficult or painful situation coming up in your life and you need to work on the strength to get through it and overcome it. Mm. Clarify the upcoming challenge. Holy Spirit, clarify the upcoming challenge for Gemini's. Clarify the upcoming challenge. Daughter of Swords. No. Hang on, Gemini's. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to scare our neighbors. <laughs> That's what I say to myself. They scare me. Okay. As a young woman or man, young man whose honesty and insights take them in life frankness and upfront being very blunt learns from keen observation and it almost seems as though this person never stops watching sometimes this becomes a burden for them as he or she can't help noticing this or that small detail that could have been done better so you just got to be careful holding on to those past hurts you got to let them go it could be relationships, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, uh, work environments. There's the moon, it's in the reverse. The moon in reverse for the Gemini. The moon in reverse. Hang on one second, because when I read this, I'm able to see it. This encompasses the wild unknown. <laughs> That's awesome. It's where your dreams, fears, and mysteries are. If you're not careful and not work on those, you can self-doubt and sabotage things. That's why these are here. You need to have more self-confidence in yourself. Mm -hmm. So that would be the next steps. Holy Spirit, clarify. Clarify. Self-confidence and self-esteem with these lovers. These lovers. 
star card, five of pentacles, and the sun. Okay, your house is in order. Almost in order. Where is you both? The sun's here. And let's see. Four of pentacles. Let's go to those five of pentacles. It is hard times from illness, job loss, finances, and rejection. But you need to stop worrying so much. It's bringing you down. It's bringing you down, Geminis. Please work on bringing, bringing yourselves up and working on your self-esteem. That you both have been in the same hurt. 